Assalamu alaikum viewers. I'm Mr. Sayyidullah Khan. Viewers, today our topic is the question and answers of play one. The Count's Revenge, Syntax Book Board. Okay. The viewers, uh, I have decided to give you some important questions from this section, uh, subsection three, play one. It comes in section B, the subsection three, it means play. So, my dear students, the questions you will you will note down the questions or if you want to take a short screen so you can you can take the short screen and just write down in your registers and notebook so that it would be a notes or a notes would be prepared for you and it will help you in your final examinations as well okay now look at here some questions the very important questions Number one, what was the past story of the Count of Monte Cristo? Or the question can be very like this. What was the basis of hatred between the Count of Morser and the Monte Cristo? Okay, look at there carefully. These are the two different type of questions. And look at the answer of the first part and the second part in the second portion. Okay, look at here. Edmund Dantes is the real name or the formal name of Count of Monte Cristo. Edmund Dantes, now the Count of Monte Cristo, was a young sailor and was soon to marry Mercedes, a young beautiful girl. Fernand Mandigo, now the Count of Morser, also wished to marry the same girl. The villainous Man Mandigo got rid of Edmund by organizing a plot against him which caused him to be convicted as a spy of the exiled Napoleon Bonaparte and commend to and condemned to lifetime imprisonment in a dun in the underground dungeon. So it was the story past story of Monte Cristo. Or the enmity of the Monte Cristo, Count of Monte Cristo, was directed against the Count of Morsef, partly due to his treachery and partly because of his imprisonment of 14 years. As he reveals to Mercedes, 14 years is a large slice from man's life. Therefore, when the Count of Monte Cristo discovered secret about the Count of Morser, he brought the charges against him. Now, these were the answers of the questions. Please note down it and uh, please memorize it. Okay, next question. Question number two, summary, Jason. Now, what was the visit of was the visit of Monte? Countess of Morsef to the house of Count of Monte Cristo successful discuss Countess of Morsef when Countess of Morsef went to the Count of Monte Cristo so is, is this the visit successful or not now the duel between Albert and the Count of Monte Cristo was averted between the bit averted because of the interventions of the Countess of Morsef she first requested Monte Cristo to save her son's life and then revealed to Albert the villainy of his pa father and the innocence of Monte Cristo. In this way, her attempt to save her son was successful. She brought a sudden change in Albert's attitude, which not only pacifies specified him but also made him apologize to Monte Cristo getting the reasons and was really successful yes it was very really successful visit of Countess of Morsef next look at it and try to understand what were the charges leveled against the Count of Morsef the most important questions are being discussed here okay what had albert's father done for which he was dis disgraced later 
In the year 1823, French was at war with Turkey and the Count of Morsev was the captain in the French army at the time. During that war, he accepted bribe from the Turks and surrendered to them the fortress of Yanina. But this act of corruption remained concealed until the Count of Monte Cristo exposed it in the newspapers. Understood? These were the charges of the Albert's father done. Okay, next. Next question. What were Albert's plans to revenge the family honor? Or how does Albert take how does Albert take revenge of his father's disgrace? Of course, look, father disgrace. Here is the answer. When the Chamber of Deputies condemns his father, the Count of Morsev as a traitor, he gets very upset and regards his act as a disgrace of his family. He becomes very anxious to find out the persons who, dis who dragged his father into the mire of humiliations and to play and to pay him back with similar sort of revenge. Later on, he comes to know through his friend Bishon that the man who brought disgrace to his family is one who one other is none other than his own friend, the Count of Monte Cristo. He then challenges his enemy for a duel. The Count, as per the convention of the duel, accepts the challenges and both the combatants appear themselves for the bloody confrontations before the two com combatants come face to face in the duel. Albert's mother in word intervences and reconciles the quarrel. Okay, now next. Next question Do you think the Count's Revenge is a melodrama? Both important questions. Very important questions. Look, the Oxford Dictionary defines a melodrama as a dramatic piece characterized by sensational incident and violent appeals to the emotions. But with happy ending, this first, this fits the play. The Count's Revenge is a melodrama, melod, uh, is a, Count's Revenge is an emotional play there is a great deal of sensational incidents. The disgrace of the Count of Morser, the, reve the revelations, revelations that the Count of Monte Cristo is the hidden enemy of hidden enemy who has exposed him. The challenge to a duel. The mother's interven intervention. The dis Close disclosure of the Count of Monte Cristo's real identity and his motives, Albert's apology and the death of his father. The ending of the play is responsibly described uh, as happy. The Count of Morsev is such an utter villain that there can be no grief for his death. In short, the Count's Revenge is a melodrama due to its violent incident. And melodrama also has a suspense. Okay, now this is the questions I think so you have understood. Next question. Do you think that the end of the play, the Count's Revenge is justifies, justified? Give reasons for your answer. You have to justify. The answer is, the end of the play, The Count's Revenge, is well justified. 
the villain and evil doer of the play the count of morsev reaches a well deserved catastrophe for deteriorating the life of utterly a gentleman the count of monte cristo the countess of morsev who is wrongly slipped into the trap of morsev again comes in monte cristo's life even albert at the death of his father leaves us with a feeling that justice is done in fact such an ending of any story leaves on the audience the effect of a happy ending that is why it is justified isliye hum keh sakte hain ye justified hai now we have done some five questions over here inshallah we'll do more questions in the next uh, video okay in the next lecture please subscribe and comment if you like it okay my channel thank you so much shad rahiye abad rahiye allah hafiz fi amanullah